Let's take a look at traction control in MotoGP. Traction control is important to keep the bike's wheels in contact with the track and provide as much grip as possible whilst preventing oversteer and high siding. The inertial platform in the IMU detects the lean angle while sensors in the wheels detect the amount of wheel spin, indicating how much grip the tyres have and how much contact there is with the track. If the rear wheel loses traction, meaning the grip drops and the wheel starts spinning faster than the front one, the back wheel can swing out wide, causing oversteer. Should this happen, the sensors torque to the ECU, which cuts the power by cutting one of the cylinders, closing the electronic throttle or reducing the ignition timing. This is important because if the bike were to suddenly regain grip, it could high side causing a crash and potentially injuring the rider. The teams can tailor the traction control to each rider and bike, as well as customizing it for every turn. As the grip decreases due to tire wear, the speed or the nature of the corner, the traction control increases the traction to maintain contact with the track. And that is traction control in MotoGP.